Hello everyone, welcome to another trading video. I'm your market analyst Adam Karlberg and today we're going to be having a look at the price chart for natural gas. So natural gas has been at really decade high levels going since the start of the Russia and Ukraine crisis and this is likely because of the rest of Europe and specifically economies such as Germany who rely so heavily on Russia for the supply of their natural gas. Now as supply has uh, gone down and demand has increased, especially as Europe and start the weather in Europe starts to get a bit, little bit colder. This has been causing the price of natural gas to jump. Another impact or reason as to why the price of natural gas has been jumping in recent times is that Russia has only been running its Nord Stream one at twenty percent of its capacity, and towards the end of this month. They're expected to shut down the pipeline for maintenance, which will again further create a surge in the price and in this uh, lower the supply of natural gas. So as we move over to the charts and we have a look at how we are tracking technically, we'll start by looking at the weekly chart. So the first thing that we can notice is that we really are testing out this almost 20 year range outside of a few breakout points. So we're really testing this um, this range between about $10, um, $10 per British, $10 per million British thermal units. So we are testing the top of this range um, and you know the range kind of goes down all the way to 1.5. And we're at severely elevated levels of price at the moment. The other thing that we can see is as we zoom in a little bit closer, is that in recent times, through this upward trend, really since the uh, the, the Russian Ukraine crisis, the crisis, we were able to um, we broke through this kind of high in two thousand and one. Uh, sorry, November twenty twenty one, and we've come back down, retested this area of resistance, bounced off that, which means this has become an area of support, and gone on to hopefully retest these highs. And that's a really bullish signal. The other thing that we can see when we have a look at the RSI is that even though we were at the top of this range, we're still not at the heights of the RSI that we saw in the recent peaks. In fact, if we have a look, our RSI is almost con consolidating and ready to break out, which again, supports this idea that we're actually not, we haven't peaked yet. So coming towards the daily chart and looking at what potential trading opportunities we may have. So again, we've tested this uh, 9.6, 9.7 level and we ha and haven't been able to break through yet. We were, as stated previously, we tested out this kind of area of, um, area of support and we bounced off that, also bounced off the 200 period moving average or 200 day moving average and we bounced off. We coiled over here. So now really what we're waiting for is a retest of this 9.7 level and a potential bounce, uh, move up higher. However, we don't really have a great target in mind. So let us have a look at that longer term chart again and see what targets we might have in mind. So as we can see, there is this gap between to 10.153 USD. And that would be our next most realistic target before hitting some really strong resistance. If we are able to break through this level um, at 10.5, at 10.03, you know, then is that there's a possibility that we could test these all-time highs at 14 and um, 15. As you can see, they're very hard to see on the chart as well. So we are in uncharted territory, but we would be looking to potentially test out this level at 14 first. Although expect quite a fair amount of resistance as we try and break through. So some a move like this on the daily where we break through, come back down, retest and move on. Or we, you know, might fail this breakout and come back down. But however, we, we are at the whims somewhat of the macro factors, especially with regards to natural gas. Um, you know, if the supply is able to remain stable or even increase, then that may reduce that reduce that price further down. But it is definitely one to keep an eye on. Um, and good luck trading, guys, and thanks for listening.